guys. Uh, no, this video will not start with our normal intro. Um, it's going to start with me explaining a little bit where I'm going with this. Um, I've had a lot of feedback from people thinking that our video where it states that our 460 EC uh, from C Ray was not in 10 foot waves on Lake Ontario. Um, and the answer is yes, it was in 10 foot waves. Um, <laughs> the boat weighed 45,000 pounds all out. Uh, twin Detroit, 600 horses, uh, 15 kilowatt generator in the back. And that's excluding all of our stuff up front. Um, and it was the two stateroom uh, model. This boat was incredible in the water. It will not move at all, all the way to about four to five foot waves. Um, and when I say it would not move, is the boat would stay flat and no matter what speed, would just cut them. Uh, when it started to get a little more than that, uh, you know, again, no big scare, you know, the bow would go up and down and I would adjust speed depending on which direction it was going into. Um, you know, to make it easier on us. So you bring the bow up if you're cutting them, uh, and if you're following them, and you slow down, if you're cutting them, and then when you're following them, you bring your speed just a little higher uh, than the wave speed. So now you're not going up and down and dipping your anchor, uh, or you're not going so slow that your boat wants to breach every time a wave catches you. Uh, and this is what I was doing in this video. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, let's go take a look, and uh, I'll be the voice while we're watching the video. Now, like I was saying, at the beginning of this clip, you could see the water being right underneath the boat. And now, you can see the water halfway up through the windshield, if not completely covering the windshield. And there, if you look on both sides, just two seconds ago, you saw water coming off the bow. And the anchor almost dipping in. Now, like I said, this is a 45,000 boat, 45,000 pound boat that's 51 foot long overall and 15 foot wide. Um, and right there, I'm doing about 18 knots. Cruising right along... And the reason why I'm doing 18 knots is because I'm picking up the nose so I don't end up diving every time I come off a wave. Uh, the waves are traveling at about 12 knots. I'm traveling at 16 to 18 just so I can bring up my bow. Uh, a lot of people told me that these were not 8, 10, 12 foot seas, but more like 2 or 3. I will guarantee you, two, three-foot seas do not bring a boat that's 51 foot long nose that far up and or that far down. Now, if you look at this next picture, this is a 42-foot uh, uh, sailboat, and these are 10 to 15-foot seas. Uh, I know exactly the date and where this was, and I double checked it. Now, if you look on the right hand side of the boat where the light blue trail is, you could see how different it is from one height to the other. Now, again, we're swapping to another video, and this one is in seas that are a lot more uh, angry than the, than the ones we were in. Uh, but the, this is also a 10 foot shorter boat, and from what I gather, it's probably around 10 to 12 foot wide and only weighs about 15,000 pounds. Now, quite a big difference in the same state of seas. Now, if you want even rougher, now this is a Boston Whaler that's a, a 30, it's a 345, so it's about 35 foot long. Uh, and again, they're in. 8 to 10 foot seas in the occasional 12. Now, none of these boats are small and none of these boats are running in 2 to 3 foot seas. They're all running in average 10 foot seas. So, I hope this puts everybody to bed with 
No, I wasn't going in 10 foot seas. Thank you. If you guys want to help us without doing much at all, please click like and subscribe. And possibly that little bell to get notifications next time we put out a video. Thanks, guys.